بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ام عرفان حسین اینڈ آئی ایم ہیئر ود اے نیو لیکچر آف آر کورس آف ٹیسول اینڈ ٹاپک آف دا پریزنٹ لیکچر اینڈ اے فیو کمنگ لیکچرس از ای ایل ٹی میتھڈس دیر از این ایکرونیم اور ایبریویشن آف ناٹ ایکرونیم ایکچولی این ایبریویشن انیشلائزیشن of English language teaching. Before going to the methods, we need to understand that there are three uh, terms that are used for teaching English or teaching uh, any other language. Uh, one is approach, other is method and third one is technique. It was first given by Edward Anthony and he presented his model of uh, foreign language teaching in uh, in uh, 1963 the first attempt to define elements of language pedagogy it was the first attempt to define elements of language pedagogy uh, we know that pedagogy is uh, to teach something and it was particularized with teaching of language it can be any language what is the approach what is method what is technique we uh, we have uh, a short introduction here that approach is a set of assumptions dealing with the nature of language learning and teaching. What is your approach? What is your assumptions? Whether you can uh, teach some language uh, through that particular language, uh, through your mother tongue, through using your culture, whatever it is, or you can use uh, through communication. These are the approaches. And under these approaches, having that approach as your ideal, uh, you set some method to impl implement that approach. Uh, so, method is an overall plan for systematic presentation language based on selected approach. If you uh, adopt a communicative approach, you will adopt such kind of method that supports that communicative approach and that help you to teach language through communication. And technique is the bottom line. That is the actual procedure of the classroom. Specific classroom activities consistent with the method and therefore in harmony with an approach as well. So, technique is, uh, uh, is comes under method and method comes under approach. So, it is uh, if from top to bottom approach then method and technique and if you go from bottom to top it is technique, method and approach. An approach is axiomatic. Axiomatic means that it is self-evident. You need not to explain it. An axiom is the principle widely accepted on the basis of its intrinsic merit of one regarded as self-evident, tr evidently true. Uh, so, approach um, is not um, uh, explained in 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 uh, some concrete manners. Uh, rather, it is uh, a set of assumptions. So, it is self-evident, and you uh, you follow a particular kind of approach, a particular kind of ideology, particular kind of thought towards something, towards teaching, towards teaching language and uh, keeping that approach you devise further methods. According to Anthony's model, approach is the level at which assumptions and beliefs about language and language learning are specified that we have discussed already. On the other hand, method is the level at theory uh, is put into practice and at which choices are made about the particular skills to be taught. If you are teaching uh, reading, you have certain methods for teaching reading and uh, so is writing, listening and speaking. The content to be taught and the order in which the content will be presented. So, this is all your method. What will you present first, what will you present next and what next to next. Method is an overall plan for the orderly presentation of language material. Uh, for example, you devise some material for some reading activity. So, how do you present that material in your classroom? That will be the method. No part of which contradicts. Definitely, all parts are in, uh, in the same line. They do not contradict each other. And all of which is based upon the selected approach. If you s approach, uh, select uh, uh, communicative approach, uh, all the methods and uh, all the classroom activities that will come definitely under the technique 
all these things will be in the same line that will be in the same uh, thought and same same frame of mind an approach is axiomatic as we have discussed while a method is procedural we have to follow some procedure in uh, uh, using that method within one approach there can be many methods you can use multiple methods you can adopt method from class to class you can vary method from class to class student to student and so on as we already have uh, told that an approach is axiomatic a method is procedural uh, within one approach there can be many methods this is a revision just to assert the thing technique that is the bottom a technique is implementational that which actually takes place in a classroom it is particular trick stratum or uh, contrivance used to accomplish an object techniques must be consistent with a method and therefore in harmony with an approach as well as we already have discussed that technique is under uh, is picked under some method and that matter is picked some under uh, under some approach so technique should be the line of method and approach technique is a level at which classroom procedures are described for example is communicative approach you will use communication techniques if it is grammar translation method uh, or approach that is um, uh, indirect approach uh, you will use your uh, translation techniques uh, and uh, teaching of grammar or lecture methods or uh, lock step uh, sorry lock steps and so on so you will pick the techniques according to your method there is another uh set of uh, three aspects and that were that was given by richards and rogers they describe method in term of three levels that approach design and procedure so a method consists of these three levels approach design and procedure according to them the approach refers to the un underpinning theory of language and uh, language learning what is behind what is underneath and what is underneath mechanism that works in teaching or understanding some language that is approach design covers the specification of linguistic content and the roles of the teacher learners and instructional material what is design you have a math, uh, approach in you have an approach in your mind then you design and you select linguistic content what will you teach in the language whether you are teaching some story whether you are teaching from drama or is some grammatical content or is it some oral content or written content or the role of the teacher what is the role of the teacher whether the teacher is uh, delivering some lecture teacher is facilitating only teacher is communicating with the student whether it is a teacher center class or a, a student center class now what is the role of the learners whether they are the passive listeners only or they are participating in the classroom activities whether they 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 talk time is greater than teacher talk time or whether they talk time is lesser than teacher talk time and what is the instructional material whether you use whiteboard blackboard whether you're using some multimedia or you are using some kind of projector or anything procedure means the techniques and activities that are used in the classroom how do you use all these things how do you use your whiteboard how do you use your blackboard how do you use your multimedia projector and how do you uh, use various kind of activities to involve your students how do you use the warmers your uh, brainstormers and all these things this is all the techniques this is all what you do in the, the procedure the organizational key is that technique carry out a method which is consistent within an approach so this is the top to down and top to top uh, serial of uh, the steps of the teaching i hope that it is understandable for you we will study different methods that will be our concern and uh, course content for this program and what are these method this grammar translation method audio lingual method the total physical response and direct method there are many other methods but we will select a few ones so that you can understand that can work for you for your examination for your understanding so thank you very much for today now till then our next video stay home enjoy yourselves and thank you very much god bless you